Welcome to Serato Sample 1.1. I'm OP, Artist Relations Manager here in New York City. Serato Sample is our powerful and intuitive new sampler plugin for producers, available in VST and AU formats. Since the release of Serato Sample 1.0, music producers across multiple genres have used the plugin with ease and efficiency to create music. We listened to producers' feedback, and we've made two major improvements, adding Q output routing for per pad output to DAWs, and also undo redo to correct accidents and mistakes to cue points and parameters. Serato Sample officially supports Ableton, FL Studio, Machine, and Logic, but should also work with other DAWs that supports VSTs and AUs. So why use Q output routing? Using Q output routing will prevent users from creating multiple instances of Serato Sample with the same sample source to control mixer output for individual sounds. Step one, I opened up an empty machine session. I then added Serato Sample to Sound 1 in Group A, and then double clicked on Serato Sample to view the plugin and loaded the sample in Peach the President. Step two, I wanted to chop up the drums to isolate the kick, snare, and hi-hat. So I clicked the arrow for the auto set features and selected Set Slicer. I selected the beat size of one half for Set Slicer by using the arrows next to the beat size. I then pressed Set Slicer and 16 slice regions were created. I adjusted the start and end points of each of the regions to get the desired sound for the kick, snare, and hi-hat. I also made adjustments to the release parameters of each pad to further shape the sound. Once I got the drum sound the way that I liked, I selected output in Serato Sample and began to select the Q output routing for each pad. Side note one, to use 16 pads on the machine controller to control 16 pads in Serato Sample, on the controller, go to keyboard, octave, C1 through D sharp two. Side note two, if creating 16 Q output routings, the destination for one of the 16 outs will be set to master. Each of the other pads will be set to outputs 2 through 16. Step 3. This is how I set up the Q output routings for the drums and machine. I selected the channel icon and then selected input. Then I selected sound 2 and routed the input to A1, S1, group A1, Serato sample 2. I continued to select the additional sounds and routed the outputs to the corresponding inputs. Once I had all the Q output routing set up, I selected sound one that is labeled Serato sample and I recorded a sequence of all the sounds. Each of the sounds were routed to its corresponding sounds in the group and the volume meters responded with the pads that were played. I then added EQ and compression to each of the individual sounds to shape the sound some more. Step four, I used Serato sample on bank B and loaded a Robert Glasper track into Serato Sample and use Find Samples to find cue points for me to play. I also used Serato Sample on Bank C and loaded up a Jill Scott acapella, and I made some manual cue points on some of the vocal phrases. I set up the Q output routing for the vocal phrases in Machine. I then selected the channel icon and selected input, and then selected sound 2 and routed the input to C1, S1, group C1, Serato sample 2. I continued to select additional sounds and route them to the corresponding inputs. Once I had all the Q output routing set up, I selected sound 1 that was labeled Serato Sample and recorded the sequence of the sounds. I then added EQ and compression to each of the individual channels to shape the sound some more. I also panned some of the vocals hard left and hard right to create a spread for my sound. If you want to learn more, go to support.serato.com.